No matter how sophisticated the software is, somewhere deep down that software, there is a very fundamental check where the code has a fork. So it goes either left or right. The database access is granted or not, whether the transaction is allowed or not. In case of Bangladesh Bank, the attackers have managed to patch eight bits of code to patch one conditional jump to grant themselves full access to the database when they could manipulate the database the way they wanted. Over the time, they have improved the attack. Instead of patching eight bits, now they patch one bit. Can you imagine the stability of the world financial system hanging on just one bit? And isn't it beautiful? There were definitely other attacks against other banks, and we work closely with SWIFT to investigate those attacks and help them out to counter those attacks.